question, and it's gonna sound like I'm joking, but I'm being serious. Adobe, do you ever use your own product? Why don't you listen to your paying customers? Most of the time I'm like a happy-go-lucky person. I try to see the positive side in things, but sometimes when I'm using Premiere, I go into fits of rage because things that have just always worked, like really simple things, all of a sudden decide not to work. Every editor I know at some point has talked some smack about Premiere. And not just my real life editor friends, but people online too. Like a lot of people online. The Premiere team's gotta know that they need to make some major changes. This is my hope. Someone from the Adobe or the Premiere team watches this video, reads the comments, and the light bulb will go off, and maybe they'll implement some of the requests that the people that use their program all the time have. And I'm just gonna say it because I've been thinking it. With the latest update, DaVinci's looking pretty good right now. I've used Adobe for 10 plus years, and let me just tell you about stability for a second. Oh, you already know? Yeah, you must use Premiere. Okay, so let's get right into it. Premiere's been bug filled for at least 10 years, and there have been thousands upon thousands of posts made online about Premiere's instability. And every time there's a new update, I get excited and I think, oh, maybe this is what everyone's finally looking for. But no, there's just a flashy new feature that nobody asked for. People ask for stability and we get more clicks to export a video. Why can't I make presets for audio plugins? For example, let's say you record videos of yourself talking to camera once a week in the same setup and you use specific settings for your voice. Well, why is it that when I open up a new project and I wanna use those same settings, hopefully I've either written them down or I have to start from scratch. You can make presets for color correction, for other things, but why can't you make presets for audio plugins? Oh, and this too. Now when you go to make a new project, the very first screen, no longer simple. Now it's complicated, it's cluttery. I don't wanna see all this, I just wanna get into my project. Here's another thing, when you use keyframes, why do they default to being auto bezier? That's super annoying because sometimes you forget about auto bezier and then notice on one clip like one sort of weird positioning movement, then have to go in, check the keyframes and figure out where the auto bezier stayed on. There should be an option to turn auto bezier off so it just doesn't default. Oh, and did I mention that one of my absolute favorite things is when you have an hour deadline on a project, you go to export it, it says it's gonna take 45 minutes, so you go leave to have a coffee or a beer or take a break, whatever, and you come back only to find that out of nowhere, it stopped. No, God, please, no, no, no! Maybe because of media offline in a different part of your project, who knows? But what? That's not okay. Have a pop-up that lets me know the issue so I can take care of it before I press export. Sometimes when I'm in Premiere and I open up a project, I press play to watch back, nothing happens. What is that about? The only fix I found is shutting that project down, reopening it, and all of a sudden it works. Doing the Ken Burns effect. In Premiere, you have to click on your footage, make sure you're at the beginning of the clip, make a keyframe, make another keyframe, go to the end of the clip, scale and position your footage over time. Oh geez, imagine you have to change the position of things slightly. In other programs, you can just click on your clip and then drag it to the position and scale size you want, and it will automatically set keyframes for you. Isn't that just so much more intuitive, time-saving, and awesome? Sarah Dietschy mentioned this one recently. They've added a new bar at the top, so now more of your real estate is being used up by something you can't get rid of. Premiere should give us the option to turn on or off these new features if we don't wanna use them. Wouldn't it just be so nice if you had a choice? And I think across the board, every Premiere editor can agree with this one. The price of Premiere is pretty expensive. Compare it to DaVinci, which has a free version even and is great and a one-time purchase. Compare it to Final Cut. You would think if you were spending the most money on a product, the product would be the most reliable, the least glitchy, they'd listen to their customers, but nope, that is not 
the case. So those are some of the main things that I just really don't like about Premiere and I'm hoping they'll change and work on and adjust and make better. If I'm missing anything about Premiere that you would like to see change for the better, let us know in the comments below. We release weekly-ish videos all about video editing, filmmaking, and content creation. So if you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to our channel. We have over 100 plus other videos on our channel. We have playlists on specific topics. Check those out and we'll see you in another video.